I'm Amy Guttenson, and we're at the Life South in Montgomery, Alabama. And I'm Eric Guttenson, and I'm right next to Amy at the Life South in Alabama. Uh, 18 years ago, uh, Eric and I had uh, quintuplet boys here in Montgomery, Alabama, and um, they were born 29 weeks gestation, and they were um, 11 weeks early. They were actually growing faster than their bones could produce blood, and so they needed um, blood donations, and uh, it was just a really neat thing to see that there was a supply that they could benefit from. Well, hi, I'm Taylor. Hi, I'm Hunter. And I'm Tanner. I'm Mason. I'm Parker. <laughs> I'm the oldest by here, one more. minute, and then Parker, come here. And then Tanner was and born. And then y'all slide down. And oh, now, now we're in birth order. Now it's oldest to youngest. <laughs> oldest to youngest. Oh. Okay. There you go. Our boys couldn't have made it without uh, people donating, and my wife couldn't have made it without people donating, and the, the people doing it so selflessly will never know their names, but we thank them for making sure that my boys got here happy and healthy and kept my wife happy and healthy. My dad wasn't able to give blood to us whenever we were little, so he, he wanted to make a promise to uh, give back what he can and he started giving blood after we were born and he's done it ever since. And uh, whenever we turned 16, we all decided to just join, him, join in with him and we started giving blood too. And as soon as they were old enough, we all went and uh, started donating. And some of the boys have uh, continued whole blood and some of the boys are starting to do the phoresis. And uh, we just come when we can fit it into our schedule and uh, the boys know how much it meant to have people donating for them, and I think they enjoyed being able to do that for others. They are great boys. They uh, they fight like brothers, and they protect each other like brothers, and they, they're always there for each other. Um, they get along. They have a great sense of humor. Uh, no two are anything alike. They're absolutely individual personalities and, and uh, wants and needs and desires. and. Uh, and it's just been, you know, it's been an honor and a privilege watching them grow.